Hi guys, um, today I'm going to do unboxing of the power supply I just got today. Um, I, I tried to buy this power supply um, for around a month now. Um, I just couldn't get it in Australia. Maybe there's, very, uh, there's some problem with the supply chain or logistic. Just I can't get a stock. And today I noticed that there's one retailer in Australia that has uh, this one in stock. So I, I went there immediately to buy, buy the supp power supply. And yeah, the reason I was in a hurry because um, as some of you might, might see in my previous video, I, I was trying to build a, a workstation for myself. So I'm waiting for the power supply to complete the build. Um, yeah, if you're interested, just um, uh, scroll down in the description description section so you can find the link to the videos that I uh, that I did for building the system. Um, anyhow, let's just do the unboxing. Um, the reason I went for this power supply is um, the power rating. Um, so you guys might ask the question, why do I need such a large power supply? I mean, there are larger one, but why do I need this one? It's because for the power supply to operate at the optimal level, the, the efficiency curve peak, peaks at 50%. So if you consider your, um, your motherboard might take maybe 50 to 100 watts. That means motherboard, uh, memory, um, storage, and so on. And, and your CPU. So if you, all, if you try to operate the CPU at the full, um, full speed or maximum speed, that can go maybe more than 150 watts to 200 watts. So if you add that, that's around maybe 200 to 300 watts. And then if you pair with a um, very pow powerful GPU, um, I'm thinking to get the, the next generation RTX 50 series GPU. So I want to skip the current series because if I buy that one, I, I don't have the use case yet, but um, maybe next year I will have the use case. So I'm waiting to the 50 series say hypothetically um, next year you have um, 5090 uh, and that one might um, operate at around uh, 350 watts so if you combine everything together so the combined voltage of the system might might go to more than 600 watts that's around half of the power rating so so that's why I select this power supply. Um, there's a larger version, which is 1650 watts. And in that version, there are two PCI Gen 5 um, slots that's here. Um, but I decided not to go for that one. Um, I noticed um, recent news about the new, um, or it's, it's the upcoming uh, 4090 Ti and with that card it's, it's very thick and it actually requires two PCIe Gen 5 um, 16 pin connectors to power that card but the based on the news the, the rated um, power consumption is um, I think 600 watts I think that's a bit too much because if you take that and also take the entire system, that can go to maybe 800 to 1000 watts. Um, that will heat up the environment. So I think I decided not to go for that. I think, um, I think 4090 or, the, or in the future uh, 5090 is enough. So I just, buy a car with a single 16-pin um, connector 
so that should be enough for me if i need more power then probably i will go for um, i will rent a cloud instance so i don't need to go to that extreme so that's uh, that's the reason i decided to go for this one um, then you might ask the question why go for thermotake um, it's because i i purchased the smaller ones so if, if you go to the um i don't think i mentioned that um, but anyhow i built a um, pc for my wife so in my wife pc i used that uh, a thousand watts power supply produced by thermotake same series gf3 um, i quite like it and it's very quiet and and i, I quite like the power supply and but i I thought if I need a need to use also need to use a GPU, then that one might not be enough. So I might need something that's larger. So I go for this one. Uh, so as you can see, this one supports the new NVIDIA GPUs and it's ATX 3.0. So I think 3.0 means it allows some power surge. And with this one, I think based on the spec, it says that if the the load is below 30% of the rated value, the power supply will not, uh, uh, the fan in the power supply will not run. So in that way, you'll be very quiet. It also means that the entire system can sustain um, a very high, um, um, thermal rating so that means you can for several hundred watts this one might not require fan to cool the internal components um, what else it says a hundred percent Japanese capacitors um, then 10 years 10 year of warranty yeah that's about it let's just go for the unboxing okay I haven't opened the box but I took out the plastic cover um, yeah, maybe I, I didn't mention about the price. Uh, for this power supply, uh, I would say uh, it's not it's not cheap. Okay, okay. But also, it's not very expensive. It's uh, okay. Yeah. So inside the box, you have um, what's this? Maybe it's a warranty book booklets, and then there's another. Um, I think that's the menu. Yeah, it has a menu. Then it has a bag. The the usual components inside the power supply package so they are various cables okay so as I'm in Australia so I have the, the three pin the three pin cable okay so that's the cables okay and then this is the power supply it's in fact very small it's uh, not very big okay I think it's around the same size as my as the power supply I I use for my wife's PC um, as you can see it's new uh, you also have the plastic cover here there's another reason I purchased this power supply um, this one has this one uses a uh, 140 millimeter fan so I think in case the fan, the this fan is no longer working, I might be able to swap to another, like, like a um, same size fan. For example, the 140 millimeter fan uh, produced by Notchure. Um, but that's what I'm thinking down the road. Um, because with the smaller ones, uh, it uses a fan size that's not a common standard. I think. Um, 
135 millimeters. So um, it might not, it might be harder to change fan yourself. But that's just down the road um, in the future. Uh, what else? Okay. So that's the back end. Uh, that's the slots for different cables. So the most most important one is this one. Okay, it only has one, but I think it's it should be enough for me. Uh, at the back, that's all at the back. Okay, looks quite nice. Um, I as you can see in my previous video, I'm using an open case for my build. So you guys might uh, have question. In that case, how would you solve the the dust issue? Um, I have a solution, but it might not work optimally. Um, I tell you why. Just give me a sec. So this is a Demi Flex um, dust filter that I purchased from their website. It's a South African company. Um, I purchased two, two of them, one's for my wife's PC, the other one's for my own build. Um, I tell you why I purchased this one. Because with power supply fan, when it rotates, it sucks air um, going inside the fan. And then it, push, it pushes the hot air out from maybe from the slots, from the sides, from the back, okay. So that's how it works. So that means the dust can go in from here. Okay, less lightly from the side. But there's a problem because at the moment I'm not loading the machine. That means the combined power rating is less than 30% of the rated value. That means that the, the fan might not run. Okay, or alternatively I can switch this on there's a menu called smart fan control i i put it off that means the fan will always run okay but if i put it on that means in in my case it might not run so if it's not if it's not run then dust can go inside but if it's running then the um, the dust will be just collected on top so with the with the dust filter, so this one is a generic size um, filter. I, do, I don't open. I won't open it now. It has a um, magnetic tape. So what can be done? You can just put it on. So. It's uh, magnetically attached yeah, as a mitigation for dust. Okay, that's how I will prevent dust. Um, what else I want to mention? I think that's about it. That's uh, all I want to say. So in general, I, I quite like it. Um, I will complete the build and probably produce another video um, later on. So remember to subscribe. Yeah. If you subscribe, also support this channel. Um, that's about it. Um, thanks guys for watching. See you.